You put the cards on it. And then, gentlemen, start your engines. So I wanted to show you guys uh, what I got for Christmas. First, I got uh, disc golf discs. And if you guys play disc golf, leave a comment below. This is a Paul Macbeth Destroyer, 171 grams. Uh, my wife got me these. Uh, this one is a Thunderbird. This is also, this is 172 grams. It's a G-Star plastic. Love disc golf. Uh, my wife also got me a cell phone case for my cell phone. My other one was falling apart, so outer box. Can't beat that. My uh, brother-in-law and sister-in-law got me a wireless headset, uh, Bluetooth, so I can uh, listen to or monitor or do studio work without cables attached. Uh, we also have uh, Nefarious. It's a board game made by the same maker who made... Uh, um, can't remember the name of the game. Uh, Dominion. If you guys have ever played Dominion, awesome game. Also from my wife. Brother-in-law got me uh, the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit set, DVD. My wife was like, yeah! Stocking stuff, sweetest fish. Love them, my wife thinks they're disgusting. <laughs> uh, tools, we yeah. got gloves for when I go skiing. And got a pair of work gloves. You can never go wrong with having gloves, especially good ones. Oh, what else we got? Belts, because I wear them out and need a replacement. Most of these gifts are from my wife. Oh, my mother-in-law and father-in-law. Dress boots. This is the first pair of dressy boots I've ever had. And so it's really nice to have so I can wear these to church or going places. Dressing up without looking real formal, but looking nice. Can of Pringles. Wallet. My wallet was falling apart and it was getting so loose, the leather was stretching. And anytime, sometimes I'd pull it out the store and all the cards would just spill out everywhere because the leather pouches for each of the cards uh, gets loose, I guess. Trisket. Hey, quit your ground. Come here, come here. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. There you are. This is Trisket? She wasn't a Christmas gift. <laughs> We've had Trisket a while. I think she's three years old. What else we got here? Um. Bathrobe. I've always wanted a bathrobe. You know, something all big and cozy and make myself uh, look like uh, one of those important actors when they get out of the shower, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you'll catch me on stage with this or not, but it's cozy. <laughs> and my wife made this. It's a, it's an important date board, so it's got like the dates that we met and date I contacted her dad. And I uh, started courting engaged and marriage down at the bottom. So that was really sweet of her. She stenciled it out herself and got those numbers that were put on the wall. So that's, I think that's it. I, I may have missed something out there. So uh, if any family members are like, hey, where's my gift I gave you? I apologize. I think I got everything. I, oh, I do have one, uh, one more gift. Let me go get it. It's, I think it's out in the car. This is... Um, Celtic treasure, so it's a whole bunch of Turlock O'Care land pieces. Uh, some, it's like a, a compilation album of different artists, and some of my favorite uh, O'Care land pieces are on this album, as well as my favorite compositions. I think that's it. Uh, tell me what you guys got for Christmas. If you got something that was really cool or musical, um, share it with the rest of us. Share down below what you guys got. Okay, a little bragging rights here. Daddy made this contraption for the boys for Christmas. It's for golf balls. So instead of a marble machine, it's a golf ball machine. And you put them down on the tracks and each one does something a little different. I was gonna jump out the top. This one up here. Uh, let's see it worked this time. <laughs> Go down, jump on the spring. And it's out the same exit. And the third one, red one but the spiral jumps down those steps and also comes out that's the red track pretty cool this is the other contraption I made 
It's a racetrack, and it's got this little release here, lever, lever. You push this thing in, you put the cars on it, and then, gentlemen, start your engines, and go. Whee! So that gift was for Ben. So just push that in, to get your cars loaded, and then you pull on it, and then there they go. All right, so we're gonna do a little Q&A here. Uh, I've got a few uh, questions and comments off of uh, social media here. So the first one I have is from uh, 1 Corinthians 10.31. Glad to hear you'll, you'll be doing more videos and can't wait to see them. I was wondering, can you tell me what kind of cameras and editing software uh, you use? So this camera I've been using is a Canon Vixia HFS 700. Right here, I'm still using my Zoom H, what is this, H2. No, oh, H4. H4N is picking up the audio, and you can use any mic. It's just plugging in uh, via this cable directly into the mic port. And that's why I got this camera, is because it has a mic port. If you want to do YouTube videos, and you want to hook up any sort of mic to it, uh, and not get the, like, see, if I was to handle this camera, it'd be real rough with it. You're not going to hear it directly in the mic itself, because the mic is over here. And I can be rough with this, and carry it and such, and not actually hear that, so... That's one of the reasons you want a mic port in your camera. As far as the software I use, uh, right now I'm using iMovie because I have a Mac and it's free, but I'm getting used to using uh, DaVinci by Re DaVinci Resolve. It's also free software, but it can do a whole lot more. All right, uh, Craig Malden said, I would like to see more on how to improve, be that exercises, book recommendations, or music theory as it applies to the hammer dulcimer. So, recommendations and such I think that a lot of that sort of thing is gonna come through slowly so something that you have to understand is I'm not making these videos specifically like workshop style they're just me doing my thing uh, but while I'm doing that I hope that you all can benefit from what I'm doing in my regular day-to-day -day life so that you can learn how to play better and if you guys can uh, benefit from that that's great so if you have a recommendation then they'll be a part of a blog not a blog a vlog that will include that. Um, and maybe I'll get a video out every so often that includes a lot of instruction, but I can't guarantee it. So the best way that I can help you, uh, Craig, through that is by you asking specific questions, and then I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, and for all of you, if you have a specific question, please a ask. You know, the, the generalization's a little hard for me to just, yeah, sure, I'm gonna spend lots of time uh, creating dulcimer instruction, yeah, just be more specific. Strength of Truth said, looking forward to the new videos. Let me know if there is anything I can do to help. Thanks. I, I will do that, but right now, just leaving a comment, liking the video, subscribing to the channel makes all the difference. Don said, this is great, Matt. I would love to see more special techniques on the hammer dulcimer and how to apply them. So I'll see if I can pay attention to that. Select uh, arrangements, or maybe I'll put some special techniques in there and... Uh, show you how to do them. So special techniques, I'm, I'm taking it like uh, hammer patterns, bending notes, plucking, th that sort of thing. Rick said, looking forward to your new videos, thanks. And Susie said, hammer dulcimer instruction, ways to learn songs. I'll be teaching, how oh, I teach myself songs because once again, this is my story of how I go about uh, playing the hammer dulcimer and teaching myself. So that's all I got for today on Q&A. taking the Christmas tree out and we are going to go burn it. We are out here, Ben and Levi are out here, it's right before bedtime, and watch us light up the Christmas tree. Light it up, up yeah. So hunt you down a Christmas tree oh. and blow it up on New Year's Eve. Round up your redneck family and watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. What do Whoa! He's shining his flashlight on it, huh? Okay guys, that's all I got for today. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, subscribe. Uh, we'll be putting out these videos as often as I can uh, push them out of my camera and onto the computer and get them edited. Right now it's like a quarter to ten and uh, probably best that I get to bed. So, see you guys around for the next video. Bye.